Alright guys, I've got my radio playing here. Uh, I'm going to try to speak up and talk over the work. Uh, this is an eight quarter inch. I don't know what size it is. Um, 316 or something like that. 336. I don't know. I guess. But, uh, I cut four two foot sections and this is going to be the wings. Uh, this is the body. But I got welded up. Where's he from? So the main part of the body, here's the horse shoe. And then on down here, the tail. And of course the head up there. And then I use uh, stuff like this. It's, uh, it's round stock. It was made for making the signs. Uh, I got it out of a junkyard. I got only four or five bundles up. That's what I use to make the antennas and uh, things like that. Um, and also use the rebar to make the legs. Um, I'll start on the wings, get the wings loaded up, but uh, I put these pretty much out straight on each side. And then the next set, I'll take them. And, uh, I don't know if you can see this drawing or not, but this is how I draw everything out on my table. Get a rough idea of how big I want it, um, or where it be in, and stuff for that, so I just got a visual reference. Uh, but that's it. I'll show you when I get the wings put on. Alright, guys, as you see, this is the outside of the wings. I just threw them in my vise and uh, been at one curve at a time. Done the first one and tried to make the second one match it as much as possible. As you can see, in the welding and you're making art. Um, it is not perfect, it's close. Uh, but nobody's gonna sit here with a tape measure and say, well, uh, you know, this is half inch off. It don't matter. Um, you're just putting stuff together and, you know, you just piddle them pretty much as my grandpa would say. So he tells me I'm doing all the time. Oh, uh, but this is the outside of the wings. So this is going to come up like this. And then this is going to come down like this. And then I'm going to cut another short piece to go right here, connect that wing. And then I'll make another set of wings back here on the back. So I'll keep you updated. All right, guys. This is what one side of the wings look like, laid out in a straight piece. Uh, here's my first big piece, and that next turned out pretty sweet. It's going to match it real nice. Uh, but, that's how I lay out my wings in three pieces. Um, that way you're not got a big piece of rebar trying to bend it all together. And then, if you mess up on a small piece, you don't have to start all over again from this. Uh, that's why I do it in sections. Uh, if you're good at bending rebar and you know you think you can handle it, then go for it. It's all one piece. You ain't got no welding to do. And uh, I just think it's easier to work with in smaller sections. Uh, this is a two foot section, this is a two foot section, and this is about 16 or 18 inches. Uh, so I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to weld these together right here and right there. And when I come in here, I'm gonna start adding this. And then I got some skinny stuff. Also, but I'm gonna add this in here, and then branch off of it with these in different places. Um, get both wings on there, and then uh, a butterfly has another wing down here. So we gotta make this curve and grab straight edge on this part. Um, but I'll get to that after I get these wings put on, the front wings. All right, guys. Uh, uh, I had to, I went ahead and put the, the back wings on and that's just how I do them. This is a two foot section also with one bend in here and a bend there and run it back in. And it's a little more tedious. Sometimes you gotta bend, I had to, See where this little bend is right here? I had to push that wing up to make it match and you know, look more even, but uh, nobody noticed anything like it. Uh, 
I did accidentally put this horseshoe on back. Uh, I would probably cut it off with a plasma cutter and flip it around. Uh, weld that up, weld that up. Uh, throw some legs on it. And then put some antennas on the front. And then put these in the wings. And then I'll paint it a base coat and paint it all different colors, purples, greens, blues. But this is this part for right now. All right, guys. Uh, yesterday, my battery went dead, and uh, uh, I got done making the butterfly. Today, it's been so hot. I've been working on uh, my pool filter and stuff like that. We got an above ground pool, and I tried to, you know, country fire the pool filter and make a vacuum, and it didn't work. And, you know, the pool filter takes these little canister filters and they go bad about every week and you gotta wash them out. It's just a lot of money, so I went ahead and bought a, a big pool pump and I've been working on it all day, hooking it up. And but last night, uh, my phone went dead. I think I left the record on or left the camera on and it only had like 20% while I was recording. So it went dead uh, while I was doing the butterfly. And today I decided to do a dragonfly. Um, as you can see some of it right there. Uh, I've got two, what I've been doing on the wings on him is uh, kind of same thing as the butterfly. But I staggered these rods in it down through there. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, I gotta add some legs to him. And uh, I'm sorry about not showing you the beginning of this, but all I did was this rebar comes in 10 foot sections. Uh, first off, I made that uh, body like I showed you on the last one. Rebar comes in 10 foot sections. So I, I cut the rebar in half, two and a half foot and marked the center and then wrapped it around uh, my wooden post over there. And when I wrapped around the post, I just, I grabbed it on both sides and rolled around and tried to keep it as easy, even as I could. Um, because if you just fold it, it's gonna leave a point. And I, did, I wanted to try to keep it as round as possible. And uh, I welded them on there. And then I put these center braces in. And then I done one wing. And what I did was I measured I got it how looking how I wanted, and I measured up everywhere I started, and I'm trying to get close to the same angle. It ain't exact, but it's like uh, I wrote it on my desk. So I know it's uh, first one's five and a half, 10, 13, 17 and a half, and 21 and a half, and that's from down here. And I just try to keep the same same angle. Um, <clears throat> when I do the legs, I'll try to take another video and show you how to do the legs they're pretty easy um but i'm gonna get this done and then uh i'll start on the legs and like i said sorry about the butterfly uh i'll take a picture of them side by side as soon as i get done with them outside on the ground or something or you know when they're all painted up worst case scenario all right guys this is the first part of the legs uh I put six on them because it's an insect. And then these, what I'll do is I'll angle them just like, and all these are uh, four inch, four inches, and then these are four inches roughly, give or take. Uh, and I'll put these on at a slight angle like that. And then I'll throw the, I cut some two inch ones and when I put them on I ain't got another hand to show you but they'll come out they'll come out the other way um all right guys this is the six legs uh what I do is I weld another one on right there kind of at an angle like that and 
I put these backwards more because of this long tail. Um, this one ain't too bad. The butterfly, it's more, it's more back heavy. Uh, but I put these pretty much facing straight back like that with the, the work piece when I do it. But it does have a slight bend to it. So, but this one's, all these are four inches. This piece I got in my hand that goes on here is four inches. And the piece that'll go on the shiny piece back here, that piece right there is two inches. All right, guys, this is how they turned out. Um, I've already got the butterfly, butterfly painted black. And then I'm gonna let my wife go to town painting on it. But that's it. All right, guys. Um, I got the butterfly and the dragonfly painted and sent off. And I didn't finish taking videos because I was rushed all weekend. And uh, videos I enjoy doing, but like I said, it takes a lot of time editing. And it takes a lot of time away from my family. And, you know, I don't, I'm not crazy about that. Um, but I got some videos and then I got some pictures of what they look like afterwards so i hope y'all like that and uh like comment subscribe and i appreciate y'all watching my channel take care